I really see it as more of like a community win. San Diego Unified 6,000 teachers are wrapping up a school year that drastically changed the way they connect with students. COVID-19 forced schools to close in March. In Claremont, Kelly Young was ready. So we started prepping a week before we closed and I went and started distance learning on March 16th. So my kids have all been doing classes. Young teaches a mix of fourth and fifth graders at Lindbergh Schweitzer Elementary. The district says her blend of innovation and inclusivity stands out. I looked at my kids and I was like, we did it! We did it, guys! Because for me it was, it was a team effort. At Wilson Middle School in City Heights, you'll hear the sounds of a drumline, jazz band, guitar club, and a mariachi. I'm in a position to inspire other teachers. They're all taught by the district's middle school teacher of the year, Paula Richardson. Richardson says music can be a metaphor for rising to meet new challenges and personal growth, especially during a time like this. Watching my kids go through that emotion, um, their own like self-confidence and their pride um, growing and changing, that, is, that, that makes me, my heart happy. Skyline is home to the district's high school teacher of the year. Deidre Fabian says the honor is all hers. And I, and I'll brag and say I have the best job in special education, being an adaptive PE teacher. Fabian has been teaching at Morse and Lincoln High Schools the past three years. Now she's teaching from home with a bit of help. My son has autism. He's a, he's a freshman in high school, so he's doing some videos with me to show the kids that it's for them as well. Morse principal Cynthia Larkin says all schools would be blessed to have a teacher like Fabian. Come together and work out and learn about inclusivity, tolerance, and just compassion. All three teachers can apply for county, state, and national awards in the weeks ahead. Ben Lacey, KPBS News.